It is all about luxury, from the statues to the art to the services to the bathroom. Raymond Blinko and family enjoy chilling in the luxury accommodation. Only Blinko isn't cooling his heels in a hotel. He had his foot operated on here, one of the first patients at one of the first private hospitals to open in the British capital in years, and its plushest ever. Dr. Aubrey Bristow, another doctor, three Middle Eastern investors, and BMI, the country's largest provider of private medical care, teamed up and put up around $8 million to create the Weymouth Hospital. People no longer just accept any health care at all. They, they want to know that they're getting the best, that they're selecting the best possible. Um, and people are very selective, not only in terms of the doctor they go to, but the way they're looked after when they're in hospital. It's a bold approach to the hospital, particularly considering in the UK you can get much of this for free thanks to nationalized health care, albeit often with a wait and without the frills. My favorite, personalized tunes in the operating room. That tonight's gonna be a good night. The British health system is going to become much more dependent on private-public partnership over the next few years to deliver better services and the higher quality that the government rightly wants to see. Weymouth also provides its patients with a personal chef. Food was excellent, yeah, I thought. When the meal I got, yes, I had a lovely free courses, so it was very nice. And while you recover from your belly tuck, you can even have a dollop of caviar. Ryan Chilcote, Bloomberg News, London.